should people get the vaccine, first of all, is an individual choice. And you make your choices based on your perceptions of the reality that you live in. If you ask me personally, which is my personal belief and not your belief, my personal belief is I would stay away from that thing like a plague. And the reason is this, as far as anybody knows right now, the swine flu is actually a relatively mild flu. Considering that thousands and thousands of more people die every year from the seasonal flu, which they're not talking about. The understanding is very simply this. The illness or severity of the illness is based on the health of the individual when they contract the illness. So if you want to fight the swine flu, you don't fight the swine flu. You fight whatever is bothering you in the first place to get your health back up. Because when you're healthy, the swine flu is insignificant. And we have to understand that because the drugs and stuff that they're using to fight the swine flu are more toxic than the swine flu. So personally, I won't take it. And one of the things about staying healthy is not get caught up in fear. Because fear is the biggest cause of ill health. And it's a very simple reason, and you don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand it. It goes like this. When you're afraid, the fear in the mind causes the body to release chemistry to get you into a protection response. The protection response chemicals are called stress hormones. The issue about stress hormones is they want to allocate the body for protection, which is usually fight or flight. So the function, very simply, is this, is to take the blood of the body and get it ready to go to the arms and legs because you never know when you're going to have to jump from that saber-tooth fighter. So what does it mean? Well, how do you allocate all the energy to get ready to run away from the lion? And the answer is you stop all the other functions that are using energy and put them on hold until you run away or fight that lion. And the stress hormones are the chemistry that go into the blood, which is the culture fluid for the cells, and tell the cells what to do. So the two things that happen right away when you get in fear is you shut off the growth and maintenance of the body, and you shut off the immune system. Nature intended fear just to be that short running away from the lion, so that you don't live in fear, you just use it every now and then and bolt, and then you're okay, you go back to life again. Today's world, 24-7, 365 fear. And as a result, every day we're inhibiting our immune system, inhibiting our growth, and the consequence is the health crisis we face today.